Okay, so you might be wondering why you're looking at the red sled and not the blue sled that I've been working on. And, well, blue sled, blue sled still not running yet. Uh, it's got some electrical issues I'm trying to work through right now. But there's a project on this one that I've been wanting to do for a while. And now we can do it. <clears throat> Hopefully this sheet of aluminum will be turned into a fuel tank for this because my epoxy job that I did in the fuel tank did not work. So we need to tear this down, get the fuel tank out of it, and then I'll cut it open and I'll show you guys what's going on with it. And I just wanna say right from the beginning, I don't blame the company that made the product that I put inside the tank. My prep work wasn't quite what it should have been. I did it in a little bit of a hurry and this is what you get. But uh, yeah, so I tried to start this back this summer, and you can't quite see in there, but I can probably show you like this. Oh. Yeah. So that didn't hold. And honestly, it doesn't. I don't know, it's pretty rough. So, yep, fuel tank's coming out of this. Hopefully, turn that sheet into a fuel tank. Probably won't be the same size. It's definitely not going to be the same shape. I would like to use the draw from this tank, like put a ring on the top of the aluminum tank and, you know, make it work the same. Um, it's just easier for trying to get the fuel to flow into it. I'm not a fluid dynamics engineer, so yeah. But, so yeah, we'll have to get this started. Oh, I took the spark plugs out of it for the other sled. Okay, so here you see our tank that we got, that I made last year. Did I put seal on it? Okay. I had a new filter in it. So this is what I would like to be able to use in the new tank, like this design. Let's see if I can make this, or if I have to cut this out and bolt it to the top of the tank. But I'm hoping to have this same kind of system. Actually, exactly this. I'd like to put this right in the aluminum tank when I get done. So now that we got that out of there, got my trusty air saw. Let's uh, see what's going on inside this tank. Yeah, as you can see, I think it got a little thick in some spots, but it still didn't seal and it just chipped away. I obviously didn't get a good enough uh, adhesion. So, I'll take the blame for this one. Ah. 
All right, so we got the bottom piece cut. And I think that'll be pretty good. And like I said before, it's not gonna be a full size tank. It's gonna be quite a bit smaller than the factory one, but this sled's never gonna ride very far anyway, so it'll be fine. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I uh, get the front piece cut and then I'll probably cut some uh, some pieces out of cardboard for the sides so I know I get the shape right. And we'll see where we are. Alright, so I've got my bottom and my front piece in here and I actually tacked together. The welder's working really good today so hopefully I can get this all done. And I cut out my side panel. Just going something like that. And welcome back to Adam's Custom Fuel Tank Building Channel, where I can't even believe how good this is going. This is really fitting in there nicely. The shape's coming together. If you're wondering why I'm not filming me welding that together, it's I'm just trying to focus on getting a good weld and getting everything lined up. So once we do the, all the finished welding, then I'll come back to that. But yeah, I really, it's really surprising me how well this is going. So, all right, so I've got the end piece and these two angle pieces on. I left that piece off because I'm going to have to make the, the ring for the suction tube to go on. And I don't think I want to cut a hole in it while it's on, especially if it's like all closed up, uh, then I have to get all the junk out of it. But I put this piece on and I wanted to put it on here and see where this hole lined up for the fuel fill. So I think this cap is going to have to go like right there. It's like right on the top edge of, uh, of this panel. So I might, I might actually cut the hole for that and put this panel on and cut the hole and then I'll have the front pieces still off to uh, vacuum it out and get all the shavings out. But yeah, she's coming along. All right, so as you can see, I got my hole cut in the top of the tank. It's not very pretty, but it'll work. And I made a ring. Um, just cut a strip of aluminum like this and it's thin enough I could just bend it around a uh, piece of pipe that I found that was the same size as that that has to go in the pickup tube and honestly I'm surprised at how well that I did with that but so now we just weld that on there and if you notice I well, it's upside down now. It's got some grind marks in it. I tried, tried to ground the bottom a little thinner so that when I put this piece over top of it, I'm gonna put a big hose clamp and it'll, it should grab onto that and it won't, uh, it won't pop off on me underneath there. So yeah, I'm gonna get this welded on, clean out the inside of the tank. Um, I have to drill one more hole to put a vent in. I have some uh, barb, weld on barb pieces. I'm just gonna run a vent hose. And, uh, oh, I have to make the bracket to go on the bolt on the back. And I'm gonna probably take one of these or a couple of these, clean them up and weld them on so that this will fit in the hole on the that front bracket that goes around the fuel tank or the fuel pump and I think that should be able to hold it in there pretty good so yeah I'm gonna get this welded on and we're almost done all right so there you go you got all the ports and everything on the tank I don't have the brackets we'll do that after I get it finished welded uh, if you're wondering why I'm using such a big vent hole I was originally planning to have to make a, like a sump in the tank and run the feed line out the bottom, but I like the idea of using the factory feed better, so that's what we're going to do, and I just had these left over, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get it all finished welded and 
put together and we'll make our couple brackets and we should be good to go and test it out see if it leaks and hopefully it doesn't and I can get the sled going So there we go, this thing came out a lot better than I expected. Uh, I still gotta do the mounts, but yeah, I mean, the cap still threads on there. This, fit, this actually fits on really good. So have to put a clamp around it just to make sure it stays on there, but yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So now we should just be able to do the mounts and I uh, might want to fill it with water to make sure it's not leaking first. But and there you go. Did you guys ever think you'd see glam shots like that on the old Adam and the Mitten channel? This didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to, but it still does its job. The mount on the back, also ugly, but it does what it's supposed to do. I did test it, that's what's all wet. Uh, I had some leaks, I just ran the welder back over it and kind of melted everything in a little better. And it seems to be good now. So, All right, so I got it all back together and it looks all normal and everything. Until you open the fuel cap. So, yeah, came out pretty good. Can't wait to get some gas back in this thing and take off. I feel like this could be an issue when it, uh, when your hands are cold. Also, it doesn't seem to line back up very good to go on. But. A lot of threats. The only issue I have is I think the tank hits somewhere right there on this back piece because you see it's, I don't have a bolt for this side. And it's kind of sticking up, but other than that, yeah. Should have got a new seat for when I did this, but I didn't. I don't have the seat fastened down because I forgot my rivet gun at home, but what are you going to do? It's not quite ready to ride yet anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, that's how easy it is to water cool a phaser, is you just totally have to rebuild the whole tunnel and build a custom fuel tank and seat and everything. You know, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Cut a hole in the hood for the muffler. I did I did see a picture of somebody who did a 600 swap on one of these and the muffler fit like right inside. I don't know if they just used the phaser muffler or what they were doing, but be interesting to know about that. I can get another hood. So. But yeah, I'm excited to be able to get this uh, fired back up and take her for a rip. So if you want to see that, Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you liked it. If you wanna see more phaser stuff like this.